This is all wrong. I shouldn't be up here. I should be back in school on the other side of the ocean. Well, you should be, you know, getting homeschooled by decent parents, but you know, you've been you've been propagandized you know, thoroughly. Yeah, all right. So let's hear what you have to say. All right. Go ahead. Yet you all come to us young people. But she already has that that leftist like vegan face where, you know, no guy's going to want to fuck her and she can already sense it. And so she's getting that, you know, that like no guy wants to fuck me attitude. It's very resentful. All right, she already has a strong jawline. I wouldn't be surprised if she goes trans man. For hope, how dare you? You have stolen my dreams and my childhood with your empty words. And yet, I'm one of the lucky ones. People are suffering. People are dying. Entire ecosystems are collapsing. We are in the beginning of a mass extinction, and all you can talk about is money and fairy tales of eternal economic growth. How dare you? What? <laughs> yes, a lot of people are dying because of government-led wars, all right, and, and because of government oppression around the world. And all they can talk about is your money. <laughs> Shut up about money and give, give the give the governments more money. All right, because they care about the climate, the climate accords. They need to be well funded. Give the government the money. All right, because I'm getting tearful with my propaganda. Oh, I'm a sweet little girl, and I'm gonna grow up to be an unfuckable leftist vegan. Oh, cry for me. Cry for the planet. Oh. For more than 30 years, the science has been crystal clear. How dare you continue to look away? Crystal clear as every one of the, you know, the climate predictions falls flat on its face. As the climate scientists, you know, they, they're, and they're in the same pack of criminals trying to rush Trump on the porch of the White House and they're stepping on the rank. Every one of the predictions. Oh, the, New York's going to be underwater by 2013. Oh, you know, it doesn't matter because, you know, Al Gore continues. He, he still gets a Nobel Peace Prize for that prediction, but he's completely goddamn wrong and nobody brings it up. All the predictions are wrong. They cannot predict the future goddamn climate. There's no future predictability. And come here saying that you're doing enough when the politics and solutions needed are still nowhere in sight. You say you hear us and that you understand the urgency. Won't the government swoop in and save us? Oh. But no matter how sad and angry I am, I do not want to believe that. Because if you really understood the situation, it's the same thing as these, as, as the, you know, the the Parkland kids coming out and crying for gun control. It's so sick and twisted and demented when they just hop these little kids up on the leftist propaganda and shove them in front of a bunch of cameras and, oh my God, they go viral. The impassioned, oh my God, a little kid gets it and all the, all the adults are just, all the Nazis are out there just not, just denying science. Oh my God. And a little girl gets it, but all the Nazis are out there. These straight white males who want small government and they don't want to be taxed to death based on a false narrative. Oh my God. But a little girl is crying. Pay your money to the criminals. <laughs> and still kept on failing to act. Then you would be evil. And that I refuse to believe. Give up your guns as well. Oh, guns destroy the environment as well. Oh, the environment is, the apocalypse is coming. Hand in your guns and hand in your carbon taxes, plebeian. The popular idea of cutting our emissions in half in 10 years only gives us a 50% chance 
of staying below 1.5 degrees and the risk oh yeah she's reading from a propaganda note there as you can see oh my god <laughs> The Green New Deal is totally accurate. It's been vetted, and I have a cute little British accent, and so I'm superior intellectually. <laughs> Support the Green New Deal and all the socialist horseshit that comes upon it. There shall be no more planes. It's oppressive straight white males taking these planes. No, they cannot take the planes of setting up irreversible chain reactions beyond human control. 50% may be acceptable to you, but those numbers do not include tipping points, most feedback loops, additional warming hidden by toxic air pollution or the aspects of equity and climate justice. Oh my god, multi-syllabic words, multiple, multiple syllable words, I've strung them together. It doesn't have to be an argument, no. I don't have to provide any actual evidence. I can just give an impassioned little girl unfuckable vegan face argument and that's that's good enough. I don't have to make a, any logical connections or provide any evidence. I'm just, you know, a mouthpiece for the propaganda. I'm a little girl. Don't make fun of me. No. They also rely on my generation sucking hundreds of billions of tons of your CO2 out of the air with technologies that barely exist. So a 50% risk is simply not acceptable to us, we who have to live with the consequences. How dare you pretend that this can be sold with just business as usual and some technical solutions? With today's emissions levels, that remaining CO2 budget will be entirely gone within less than eight and a half years. Based on uh, predictions that are consistently wrong and, uh, you know, are Nostradamus, you know, criminal activity. Oh my God, how reliable. There will not be any solutions or plans presented in line with these figures here today because these numbers are too uncomfortable and you are still not mature enough to tell it like it is. You are failing us. But the young people are starting to understand your betrayal. Yes, the young the young children with their unformed brains, all right? They they understand it, all right? The young people that are barely out of primary school, they're the ones who should dictate the policy. The eyes of all future generations are upon you. And if you choose to fail us, I say we will never forgive you. Oh, let's applaud her general, you know, baseless resentment. Oh, yes, we feel resentful, too. We're unfuckable vegans, too. Oh, my God. I love her. We will not let you get away with this. Right here, right now, is where we draw the line. The world is waking up. And change is coming, whether you like it or not. Oh, yeah. She's got a real authoritarian streak in her, too. Oh, boy. Just like the goddamn David Hogg trying to take your goddamn guns, dude. Jesus Christ. It's fucking pathetic. 